Hello my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel and to Bahati Life Podcast if you are currently tuning in on Bahati Life Podcasting platforms. We're going to be talking about the Sagittarius new moon that's happening November 23rd, 2022, roughly around 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At least that's when I pulled the chart. The last time I pulled this chart was late last year, early last year early this year when I was writing the complete guide to 2022. So it's almost kind of like a memory, like a trip down memory lane. So I'm going to allow myself to flow along with the energy of this chart. This is going to help me to not only work with my intuitive gifts, but also to share with you guys the things that is that I know about astrology and what it is that I see for the, the new moon and how I believe that it's best for you to work with this type of energy when it comes to manifestation and also preparing for energies as they show up within your life. I will say that this new moon does feel a little quiet and it also feels kind of cathartic. I believe that this has a lot to do with um, Uranus, the planet of eruptions and erratic changes and Saturn, the planet of restriction and karma, they are starting to edge away from each other gradually. Uranus is um, retrograde right now, 16 degrees in Taurus, impacting our businesses, money, how we spend our money, what is valuable to us. Um, and Saturn currently is now direct in the sign of Aquarius, which is working on leadership right now, believe it or not, and also social media platforms and how we network. Those two planets have been combat, um, combating and butting heads all of this year. Now at the time of the new moon, this is where we're going to start seeing or we're going to see the lack of that energy and my belief by looking at this chart. I think that if this was a full moon, we might be able to see more crazy eruptions that are happening in our day-to-day -day life, day -day life, politics, etc., etc. But it's this um, Uranus-Saturn square, the fact that it's separating, and also the new moon itself happening in the sign of Sagittarius. It's going to kind of calm things down, at least temporarily, um, at this time for the new moon. Don't expect that for the rest of the year because these planets are still going to combat be combative with each other, especially that Uranus is moving backwards and then starting to, will then eventually start to move direct. We're already kind of seeing this in our government, our politics, not only here in the US, but also all over the world internationally, where we're seeing the rise of an unexpected leader, someone who stays humble, someone who stays um, with their focus on the good of the people. They're going to be the right, the leader who helps to make positive changes and usher in positive changes. This is not something that is new. I've shared this information with you guys multiple times. If you guys hear any breathing in the background, any odd breathing, it's actually Leo, my one of my good friend's dog who um, stays by my side um, while I'm working. He's just kind of, he's a shih tzu, so he breathes pretty heavily. Um, shout out to shout out to Leo. <laughs> okay, the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that the, the obvious fact that this new moon is happening in the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius's energy naturally is connected to the idea of expansion and optimism. Also, travel, exploration, and knowledge and spirituality. This is the type of wisdom that you don't learn here on Earth, but that you come here on Earth with. Does that make sense? These are things that. When you hear it, it resonates, it comes to you as truth, it signals to you a truth. It's your innate belief systems. So at the time of the new moon, again, this is going to be November 23rd, Spirit is going to guide you back into reconsidering and reconnecting back to your core belief values, the places that it is that you feel called to go to and starting to make moves in that direction. If this means that you're going to be planning trips, I see you wanting to book those flights. If this means that you're gonna be signing up for classes, that's gonna happen. <clears throat> if you're gonna find, if you've been wanting and needing and craving and calling out to the universe for a guru or a spiritual teacher, it's gonna make itself known. There's a quote that my mom, who's an acupuncture doctor and just an amazing healer all in all, there's a quote that she's always shares with me. When the student is ready, 
the master will appear. And at the time of the new moon, I'm definitely seeing those seeds being planted in that direction. When you are ready, they will show up. They will reveal themselves to you. Another thing that I find so significant and wonderful at the time of this new moon is the fact that Mars, the planet that rules our drive and in our, in our ambition and our fire, is retrograde. And because it's retrograde, he's reconnecting back with the part of fortune happening in the sign of Gemini. This is going to allow you to um, reconnect and also to build new connections simply by you um, falling back and not being so aggressive and so forward moving in your actions. One thing that has been showing up a lot lately is um, what is it that fills you up? What fills? What makes you excited about life? What makes you enthusiastic about life? Go back to that. This doesn't necessarily mean that you're creating an action plan for that because Mars, again, is retrograde. So if you could imagine that Mars was a tank of gas, the gas is not on empty, but it's getting refilled up. So we're not actually on the road driving towards it. We might be filling our tank up or talking about the plan to get back on the road. With the part of fortune, those conversations, those connections are going to be highlighted. They're gonna be key and they're gonna be lucky for you. So if you wanna start making plans for, again, expansion, for knowledge, for spiritual growth, for education, these are things that, again, are highlighted at the time of the new moon and things that I highly recommend that you plant seeds for. If you feel like you've been disconnected or you haven't had an intimate connection with spirit, with the divine, this new moon is going to plant that seed for you and also get things into motion. I also see that for some of you guys, um, intimate connections definitely with spirit are going to be felt and you're they're going to be manifested stronger than anything else. It's interesting that as I'm saying that because I have been called to work with the Higher Wisdom candle, um, my fixed candle that has special herbs that when you burn them, not only does the energy of that infuse the air, but the candle itself works its magic. So I'll link that down below. But this Higher Wisdom type of energy is definitely showing itself up in the charts. And I really want to encourage you to work to manifest that energy in your own life. I do want to talk to you guys that your own enthusiasm, your optimism, and your, I just see you stretching out, like you stretching out beyond your current existence, like your current platforms, your current purposes. These things are going to help you in your legacy that you leave on earth. It's going to kind of challenge what you know and believe about yourself and the work and how you contribute to this place on earth, but it's going to pay off. What does this mean? This means that Chances are that how you've been doing your work, your purpose, your spirituality, um, how you've been practicing your rituals, um, your wisdom, your study, those things might pivot at the time of the new moon. Just go ahead and expect that. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this feeling of optimism play and having fun. Sagittarian energy is very, very playful. It's very, very open-minded. It's very, very optimistic, and it's open to considering different paths and different platforms. Keep your mind open for that. Also, I do see this really strong connection about simplifying. I talked about this, I believe, in one of my recent upload videos on global predictions that I was channeling for the collective. So if you want to, definitely check out that video. I'm gonna link it down below. But I'm also seeing that here in the, at the time of the new moon where there's a really strong need or a really strong desire to simplify your life Something about simplifying your life maximizes your experience. I think it has a lot to do with just kind of lightening the load, but to each of you guys, this is gonna resonate different for you. One last thing, there is a strong connection towards deeper connections, intimate connections, solidifying your relationships, as well as um, money. <laughs> so random, but it's all about like what you value and what you believe that you deserve. Um, this is, has nothing to do with spirituality. It has a, it's just an innate feeling here on earth, your self-worth, your self-value. Do you say yes to certain experiences or do you feel like you have to keep grinding? It kind of shows up in all the different areas of your life because that's how energy works in general. But for the most part, at this time of the new moon, I do see you guys working on, um, deeper intimate connections and, um, you know, making like money and um, with money that doesn't sacrifice your purpose or your authenticity. I hope this makes sense, you guys. You can find me working for you at the Bahati Life Apothecary. That's bahatilife.com, where I'm working fixed, mat fixed candles, oils, 
magic herbs, all of the above. You can find all of that listed um, down in the description box. And um, make sure to join me on Bacotti Life subscriptions. <laughs> As Nova is calling that magic. <laughs> calling that magic into the forefront. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention and alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.